we continue on section 20.3 and now we uh, continue this next example to solve the heatful equation which is just um, diffusion equation we'll talk about diffusion equation in the pd chapter also so now the form of the equation in your, written in your textbook is this also sine partial t equals to this is a a square partial square sine partial x square so that's the form of the equation and is subject to boundary condition also or the initial condition let's see what is the initial condition uh, uh, actually I didn't say that So that uh, basically after we solve it and, and we can just identify what the initial condition is. So anyway, so let's just uh, continue using the, uh, the Fourier transform method to solve it. And now the Fourier transform defined in this uh, example is this capital psi and it depends on y and t again a first string choice of the variable y and again if you transform in a spatial uh, situation we usually use k but so y is our k here so that doesn't matter so by that definition is one of a square root of two but this is one dimension so this is um, integrate over the whole range of x and this little sign x the t e to the i y x and dx okay so that's the uh, form of the free, free transform okay so now again, the, we have done that before the second derivative of the function. Now you take the Fourier transform using the property that uh, listed in the, the previous uh, equation. So this is basically equation 20.56 using 20.56. So implied uh, the second derivative we just pull out my put a minus i y square which minus y square okay so you have a partial capital sign partial t equals to minus a square y square capital sign okay so that um, is the equation after doing the transform now it depends only on the derivative of t, not the derivative of r, r or y or x, so it becomes an ODE with it, and this ODE is, uh, is straightforward to solve because it's just a first order derivative. The the um, solution is just trivial, and so this pi the solution is just an exponential function psi y. This is T, not K. There's no K. T. So YT is equals to just a constant. Now the constant depends on Y because um, Y is a parameter here. Just a constant Y and the exponential function minus A square Y square times T. Okay, so 
Now, um, the initial condition then uh, identify as sine y zero is just setting t equal to zero, which is this exponential function is one. So this c y function, in when you solve the uh, differential equation ODE, you get the arbitrary coefficient in front, and that turns out to be the initial condition. All right. So that kind of uh, straightforward. Now the original function that you try to solve for the p uh, diffusion equation, psi xt would be the inverse transform of the, the this uh, capital psi function, so it's capital psi and y t multiplied by exponential function minus i y x t y. Okay, so this is just the inverse free transform and substitute this uh, psi capital psi in here. We gave you one over square of two pi. The c function in inside the integram exponential function minus a square y square t minus i y x dy. Okay, and. Now this is uh, uh, if the initial condition is inside the uh, integram. So for G, so this uh, integral cannot be solved without specifying this initial condition. C C this capital C function. Okay, and this should be equation twenty point. 66, except that uh, in the textbook, this uh, is one over two pi instead of one over square of two pi. Probably is because um, it changed, uh, somehow the convention is changed. So free transform have different convention. Um, just starting from this chapter, the, all the convention is uh, putting transform and inverse transform the same one of a square of two pi coefficient in front, but the other convention can be putting one of us two pi in one of them. So either the transform or the inverse transform, it depends on people. But uh, probably in the, that version of the textbook is uh, based on one of a square, one of a two pi in the inverse transform. All right, but uh, that doesn't matter. Let's just keep using the convention that one of a square of two pi. All right, so that's our solution, uh, general solution, but now, now without uh, specifying the, uh, the uh, function see why you cannot uh, do anything more. Now, if you choose cy as a function of as a function of constant, which gives you a constant c, you can think about what that means. It means that uh, it means that at uh, this implied the initial condition psi x zero would be one of a square of two pi and for our constant c then e and t will be zero so you have just e to the i minus i y x dy okay so this means that uh, uh, you remember that we talk about the Fourier tr transform of a constant or the Fourier transform of delta function uh, that uh, will give you square root of two pi times c and delta function of x. 
Okay, so because uh, this will give you uh, this integral itself give you two pi times delta function x. Okay, so altogether this would be the initial condition of the the solution psi x at t equals zero is just a delta function mean, meaning you have a pulse at x equals zero x at x equals zero you have an infinity and then draw up to zero um, very fast at uh, x non-zero okay but now for larger larger the t t greater than zero so what happened is uh, psi xt will be equals to 1 over square of 2 pi and put pull out the c in front is it minus a square t y square minus i y x t y okay and so this is of a form of a of a the Fourier transform or inverse Fourier transform of a, a Gaussian and uh, at uh, section 10.2 we have some example of 1D uh, Fourier transform and if you go back and look at one of them so like uh, example 20.22 and then finally if, uh, 20.19 give you the result that uh, if you are doing a Fourier transform of a function e to the minus, this is alpha or a minus a t square, a t square. So this is a Fourier transform of that will give you one over square root of two a exponential function minus omega square over 4a okay so that's the uh, we transform and for us uh, we're doing inverse free transform but that doesn't matter because uh, we are choosing the symmetric form so only only thing change is this uh, exponential function whether you have plus or minus. But if you if the solution is uh, squared, it doesn't matter. So this means that uh, we can use this result without doing the integration again. Although the integration is straightforward, um, we can just write and um, identify our uh, this a in this uh, compare with this is a squared t. Okay, so. We have a, a squared t in the denominator, and then you have a c factor, a squared t, you can pull the 8 out and get 2t in the square root, an exponential function minus, and the omega here is basically the x here. So you have x squared over 4 a squared t. Okay. So that would be the result. So that uh, is the solution for this example. Okay, so, um, and this solution we have already gotten in the PD chapter about diffusion equation. So basically now we use the free transform method to recover this as one the solution with a delta function initial condition. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about another example next time.